The inner ear uh, contains both membranous labyrinth and bony labyrinth. And this membranous labyrinth is one of the most delicate structures of the body. And the creator is so cautious that the membranous labyrinth is covered by a bony covering and that is called the bony labyrinth. Uh, if you are coming to a uh, human uh, body, so think this as a, uh, your head. Okay. And uh, your nose. And if this is your pin now. Your uh, external auditory canal comes here. Both sides. Then comes your uh, middle ear and your inner ear anteriorly there is the uh, cochlea then your vestibule and semicircular canal so this is the superior this is the posterior and this will be the lateral and on this side also your cochlea your vestibule and your superior, posterior and your lateral semicircular canal. So on the right side, this part if I zoom, this part will be, uh, this is a diagrammatic representation of the, this part, cochlea, vestibule and the semicircular canals. Before going to the each part in detail, you should get a general idea or a clear idea of each part and also the fluid system. So, uh, this central portion, this part, this is the vestibule, that is the uh, vestibule. The anterior turning. So, uh, this is my right ear, cochlea, and this here is the semicircular canal. Semicircular canals. Okay. So this is a uh, cochlea is a coil tube uh, and the basal turn projects into the uh, medial, ear, medial wall of medial ear forming the promontory and the lateral limit of this is the uh, medial wall of medial ear and medially this uh, uh, cochlea is in continuation with the fundus of the internal auditory meatus. And uh, vestibule, laterally there is the uh, oval window and the uh, oval window niche. And uh, medially there are two uh, recesses, spherical recess and the elliptical recess. And the uh, superior and the posterior semicircular canal and this is the lateral or the horizontal semicircular canal. This is the lateral uh, right here. So, this is the lateral semicircular canal. This is the uh, posterior one. And this is the superior or the anterior. Okay. So, inside this membranous labyrinth, I will draw in uh, green. So, uh, Inside this, there is a membranous labyrinth. Okay, it is coming and uh,
bring into the communicating with the uh, with this. <clears throat> so this is a membrane slab. It's called a cochlear duct. And uh, here, what comes anteriorly is a utricle. Uh, it's a sacule. Utricle. Uh, you remember as utricle as uterus has tubes with it. So utricle uh, communicate with the semicircular canals like that. So the anteriorly it will be the sacule and posteriorly your utricle, right? Sacule and the utricle and here semicircular ducts. It's got an ambulated end and a non-ambulated end. And the non-ambulated end of the uh, superior and the posterior join together to form the crest commune. And uh, uh, these are the ambulated ends. If this is the uh, bony labyrinth and inside is the Membranous labyrinth. This membranous labyrinth is filled with the endolymph. Endolymph. And between the uh, bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth, it is filled with the perilymph. Perilymph. Okay. So this is the uh, bony labyrinth. Bony labyrinth. Here also it is a bony labyrinth and the semicircular canal and uh, inside the uh, this membranous labyrinth is filled with the uh, endolymph. It is filled with endolymph continuous with the, that of the saccule. Here all endolymph, endolymph, endolymph. Here also. Oh, oh God, this should. <laughs> what will happen if it stops here? This should come. It should come to the. Uh, otherwise, all this endolymph will drop out of the uh, labyrinthine system. And uh, you won't be able to. here or balance properly. So these are all interconnected. Endolymph, endolymph, endolymph. Here also the same. This should not stop here. This should come and connect to this. Endolymph, endolymph. Again here. Okay, so all this membranous labyrinth is filled with the endolymph. And the perilymph I will draw in a reddick. So between the membranous labyrinth and the uh, bony labyrinth is the perilymph. Perilymph, perilymph. All here the perilymph. Actually this membranous labyrinth is floating in the perilymph. Okay. So all here comes the perilymph. Perilymph between the bony labyrinth and the membrane system. Right? If I write as the uh, bony structure, from the bony structure, uh, 
That is the membrane structure. Then sensory epithelium. And uh, from there, function. Okay, so bony structure, that's a cochlea. What is the membrane structure there? Cochlea duct. Cochlear duct. And what is the sensory epithelium? That is the organ of corte. Organ of corte. And what is the function? That is hearing. Auditory function. Okay. So that is about cochlea. And in the vestibule, second. What is that? There is a utricle, saccule as well as a utricle. Right? There are two uh, membrane structures. Saccule to utricle. And what is the sensory epithelium? It is the macula. Okay. And what is the function? It is uh, important in static balance. Okay, that is macula. And the third one is semicircular canal. And uh, it is a semicircular canal. And what is the membrane structure there? It is a semicircular duct. semicircular duct and uh, what is the sensory epithelium it is the crista crista okay and uh, what is the function that is a kinetic balance that is balance motion okay so that is about the uh, Labyrinth in general. This uh, concept, you should have a very good uh, clear concept of this. Hope you are clear. So, uh, that is a uh, uh, cochlea containing the cochlea duct, organ of corte, and the vestibule contain the saccule and the utricle <coughs> with the uh, macula and semicircular canal. They are uh, semicircular duct. Containing the ambulated end containing the crystal and in between the bony and the membranous labyrinth there is a, a perilymph and inside the membranous labyrinth there is a endolymph. For getting a much better uh, concept of this inner ear I will show a model of the ear from our own anatomy museum. You can see the mastoid process posteriorly. It is on the right side. It is a mastoid uh, pinna. On turning you can see the pinna with the external auditory canal. And that is the external auditory canal with the tympanic membrane. That is the tympanic membrane. And from the anterior wall of the middle here comes the eustachian opening, eustachian tube. And above the bony plate comes the tensor tympanic tendon going to the middle ear. And on removing the bone, oh thank God, it is not so easily removable in life. And that is a bony labyrinth, you can see the projected semicircular canal. And the bony labyrinth contains three parts, vestibule, semicircular canal and the cochlea. In the lateral uh, wall of labyrinth, 
is the medial wall of the middle layer. And uh, that is the uh, cochlea, vestibule and the semicircular canal. Okay, three parts. And this uh, body cochlea is a coil tube and uh, the lateral and that is the apex. Apex lies medial to the density bony tendon and there is a basal coil which forms the promontory on the medial wall of middle ear. That is a semicircular canal, the posterior one, the lateral and the, that is a posterior, posterior semicircular canal. In this view it is very clearly seen. Three semicircular canals of the right ear, this is of the right ear. That is a superior or the anterior one anterior, and that is a posterior one and this is a lateral or horizontal semicircular canal. Okay, the horizontal forms an angle of uh, 30 degree with the horizontal plane. Again, that is a posterior horizontal one. And that is a horizontal or the lateral semicircular canal. It has got an uh, ambulated end and a non-ambulated end. That is an ambulated end. And on uh, inside uh, the bony cochlea, you can see the modulus which... Uh, and uh, there is a spiral lamina, it is a thin plate of bone called spiral lamina. It is winds spirally around the modulus like the thread of a screw. It is very clearly seen there. We can discuss in detail in coming classes. Just uh, get an idea of that. And that is a, a vestibule with a spherical recess and the elliptical recess for the um, Sacule and uh, utricle. Okay.